I had some good days. I had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. Yes, yes. But when I I look around and I think things over. All of my good days outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. We be striving to survive. I gotta thank God I'm alive at 25. Martin Luther died so that we could keep our pride. So I'ma keep riding cause I got a lot of drive. My city full of turmoil but we still got some positivity in it. And I'm trying to bring that to light. It's more to kiss than just killings and robbings and all that, you know what I'm saying? Police and drugs. We known for gang violence. We known for drugs. And I think we got like the third highest STD rate, you know what I'm saying? That's horrible, bro. Like, that's, I feel like that's horrible. And I can, I feel like I can do something about it, you know what I'm saying? Young man right here, my man, little Jackie Spam King, you know what I'm saying? He got out the hood. You can get out the hood too. All you gotta do is hey, believe yo, in yourself and believe in the man upstairs. Hey, yo, Anything is possible. Tomorrow, yo. You put your mind to it, you can do it. But think positive when you do something. It's all good, I'ma still make it, I'ma smile hood Guess them where I reside, the East Coast, Inglewood, Carolina dreaming Young niggas scheming on the come up from sun up to sun down I be grinding, oh, 25 hours, 8 days, I be shining But ask your old lady, she'll tell you about my time now we in St. John, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is where I spent my most of my childhood at. Like, this is all where most of my memories at, where I became a king. Like, small three bedroom apartment, you know what I'm saying? At a time I was growing up, I had my aunt and my uncle staying in this room. One of my other aunts. It was me. Three of my cousins staying in this room. My grandma staying in this room. My mom she be like in and out, you know what I'm saying? But. This is crazy that I'm back here. I never thought I'd actually be walking back through here again. You know what I'm saying? This is my, my lovely grandma right here. Hello. <laughs> we call her Miss Demetrius. Uh, first, I tried to understand it. Because <laughs> I'm not into that rap. And if you go too fast, I don't understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But then I relax and slow it down. And I can, I can understand most of it. But I was tickled. I real, real tickled. I'm kind of tickled. I told you, like, it was a real surprise. Surprise everybody when I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, it was. <laughs> everybody was caught on guard. Yes. And then he made these designer shirts. Really, that's what I thought he would do. I didn't know my baby was, was rapping mm -hmm. until... Uh, who was it? Dwayne? I believe it was Dwayne first mentioned it. Mm -hmm. And I thought he was just selling shirts. Some design shirts. And my baby was rapping. And I didn't know it. <laughs> didn't even know it until he finally came out and showed me some stuff. And I said, oh, my baby is rapping. He's going to be a rapper. Everybody. Jackie Spade. That's what it is right here. It's love. It's Jackie Spade. Jackie And my whole click by the body. You be saying you be saying, but I highly doubt it. You ain't down to ride nine to five, five to nine. Overtime and not getting nothing out of it. Still be grind, still be shine through the blinds. Look outside, I'll be all around it. The world is mine, fall in line. Took my time, so why you gotta act so dumb on it? Huh? Bro, Shay Life, you already know where we at, man. We in the bright right now, 400, man. It's where we be at every day, every night. It's just the lifestyle we live, man. It's in the cake. Welcome to Kingston. Jackie Spade, stay stated, man. We out here, man. Doing the big from the Ville to down the hill, man. Folks. Yeah, I'm Josh. It's my nigga, Jackie Spade. That's a day one nigga right there. I was with my nigga when he started in the car. Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, that's you feel me? So, to see my nigga on TV, something we used to rush home from school to watch in the basement. That shit is, it's unbelievable. Yeah, my nigga there. I'm proud of him. Took my time, so why you gotta act so dumb on it? Huh? Now I'm counting money, power, every hour, only hour, like more money, more money, more money, more money, more money, more money. Straight up, shout out my nigga Jack Spade, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
You know what I mean? We go way back like cook crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Say no more. He swear he an old head, but he ain't old head. <laughs> Jay, you know what I'm saying? He always looked out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck with since the hype days. He just support your boy real heavy, you know what I'm saying? I show love to people who show love to me. You know what I'm saying? He wanna do it, show love. Always show love. Even when I ain't here, he hit me up, he take the time out, yo, how you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? I just think that's real big, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking about that. Appreciate it. Shit, it's the only dude to help me move out of my house. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? Like, me. You. like this dude was lifting dresses and <laughs> beds and stuff. You know, like, he the only one took that time. So, you know, if he ever need anything, I'm there for him. Rather, if it's music, damn, just a friend, whatever, bro. Like, that's my people. Forever. See the outcast. AT aliens. Moving like a big boy, bumping three steps. Hit my hoop. I'm a motherfucking Mac when I'm on a jack. I gotta watch my own back so I never lack. Uh, how you doing? Uh, my name is Junior Smith III, and I'm the sports editor at the Kempster Free Press. I'm about to do the interview with Jackie Spade. Like, really, where did the inspiration come from for rapping? Uh, really, it was just something that kind of like happened. One day, I was like watching BET, watching 106 in part, and it wasn't really nothing I can get with, you know what I'm saying, I was talking to music on the radio, then one day I was just like, just playing around with my cousin, I was like, bro, I'm gonna rap one day, <laughs> this is a joke, see if he was gonna laugh or something, and he looked at me like the most serious face, and he looked at me dead in my eyes, and he was like, bro, you can do it, you know what I mean, I, I, it, set, it hit me kind of hard, I sat back and thought about it, I was like, okay, maybe I can really do it, and I started rapping, really, like, it's getting the, as far as getting the city behind me, like, that was so easy. Like, I was I was kind of shocked at how easy it was. Like that this city, Kansas, a city that's always going against each other, came together. So it was quick to come together. As soon as I was like, okay, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is my opportunity. This is how close I am. They came right together and got behind me. For anybody in Kansas that's trying to pursue something and get out of Kansas, I would just say, stay true to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to, to the doubters or people who don't. Who don't see the vision that you see? Don't listen to them, cause it's gonna, it's gonna come. They don't know how passionate you are, or how how hard you're gonna work, and what you're gonna do. But just stay focused. And if you're really passionate, do everything. Make this, take the necessary steps to make your dream a reality, bro. Like, make it happen. It's all, it's all how you, it's all on you. It's all on you. Don't listen to them. If you got the vision, bring it to life. Say you spit.